not anymore. And you have to learn to deal with that. And you have to just go on about your way. I mean, I'm so flattered if I go somewhere and someone will go, I know you, you're an actress. Oh my gosh, what show were you on? You know, and it's so flattering to me that they do remember. But, you know, that that was something that happened every day, literally on Dallas, every day. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't go anywhere in the world without mobs at the airport. I mean, it was craziness. So you got to prepare yourself for that too. I hope these kids are getting good advice. I hope they're getting good money advice because they need to invest, put it away and maybe write something, maybe create their own show. You know, that's where you move on and you don't get, you don't get lost. I agree with, I say in my next life, I'm going to open like a, a school for like reality TV stars and say, this is what you do in your first year. If you're still there yes. in three years, because yes. listen, every, especially with housewives, like everyone is always shocked when they get fired. It's like everyone loses the job. Why are you so shocked in year nine that it's you? It, yeah, it yeah. happens to everyone. It's like, what do you mean you didn't save any money? Like, what were you right. doing? For, it's it's right. it's always shocking to me of like, yeah. it's it going to go me. away. That is how this this model how, works. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, you you kind of you kind of look at it like a politician. You're running for office. Everybody's got the spotlight on you. Is he going to win? Is she going to win? This and that and the other. The election is held. This person wins. You didn't. They don't even care. They don't even know who you are anymore. That's how fast it happens. And in the business, it's kind of the same thing. I would did what what you said. I mean, I just remembered in my head. I did a love boat with Kim Richards when she was. 14 maybe and I remember her on and and it was all about her and it was all about oh you're a star and you're this and you're that and the other and I thought then when I saw her on Housewives it was like oh wow I've been I've seen those stories before you know so it's tough are you are you shocked I mean are you excited for the new Beverly Hills without Lisa Rinna were you a Lisa Rinna fan um, I like Lisa. I think I've known her for forever. Yeah, I like her. Um, I, I I don't know. It was a little abrasive. It was getting a little abrasive and a little, I don't know, kind of nasty in a way. I don't know. Who'd they, who'd they replace her with? We I don't know yet. They're filming, we but we don't know. But I mean, the rumor is like the directive is really like, ladies, we want a nice chill mm -hmm. season. Like, I think, you know how it yeah. is. Like, I yeah. say Bravo wants drama, but when it gets dark, you know, mm -hmm. with real alcoholism, like with that's yes. when they're like yes. cut, like we don't want this. Exactly. So they've exactly. been given a directive of like after the bots and racism and all that stuff with like, they were like, we just need like a nice uh, yeah. light season. I, t I so agree with, with what you're saying. I mean, that, that is exactly true. I'll be curious to see. I also watched New the Jersey housewives too. And that's, I, somehow I have a feeling somebody's going to go on that show. I don't know why. Well, I think Melissa's going to go. She may, she may very well go because they're not going to get rid of Teresa. Never, never. No. <laughs> Teresa's too much of a train wreck, but it's, it's, I mean, I, I don't know. And, and I was curious, maybe, you know, why do two of the daughters go on the show and two of them don't. Is there a reason for that? I always just assume it's because like maybe the younger ones don't, but I, I agree. Yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, even the, they're, they're, they're both, they're beautiful girls. And I noticed that even at a dinner table at one point, it's kind of like they sit like this. Oh, really? I'm going to have to they don't want to be, they don't really want to be photographed. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I pick up on things like that. And it's like the other two are, you know, they're on there. I'm going to have to notice that. I, yeah. I I think personally, I think this is it for Jersey. I think big changes, you know how like every now and then they change. Oh, yeah. it. I think this yeah. is it. I think like Margaret might go. I think, I yeah. think, I think yeah. it's going to be Margaret and Melissa 
And this is it. I, yeah. I really do. I can't explain why. Uh, last season, I said the second week, I said Lisa, Lisa's going. And everybody told me I was crazy. I spent mm. the entire season saying Lisa's not coming back. Yeah. Then the last like three weeks, I convinced, I'm like, you know what? Everyone else is right. I'm wrong. And I'm like, I'm going to stick to my guns this time. But yeah. Yeah, it's 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 kind of funny too when you see Lisa Vanderpump and she does those those after after show interviews and things. Lisa must wield a lot of weight at that network because she, you know, she has her opinions and they seem to be taken a lot. I, th- I think she's especially now, like as yeah. a producer on I think she's like I mean, what a great job. You're off the housewives where you have to fight yeah. with other people. Right. You're advertising every business you have. Yeah. There's so so much drama amongst your staff that's all uh-huh. sleeping. And all you have to do is come in for five minutes an episode mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. make the biggest paycheck, obviously, of anyone. That's, I mean, she's the smartest one of all of them at the end of the day, right? Yeah, because because Andy asked her about Rena, and she made a face. Like, uh, yeah, I saw that. You know, did you see that? And I kind of thought, well, that's interesting because maybe she has more pull than most people think, you know, where she was like, she was definitely fired and, you know, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. I know. I know. Well, listen, you can come back anytime you want and talk when the, <laughs> okay. when, the, when the new season of Beverly Hills Housewives comes back, you can come back or you can, but I mean, I will be looking for you at fan conventions. I, I track that stuff. So hopefully I will meet you in person one oh, day. Oh, that would be wonderful. I have followed your career through <laughs> all of it. I mean, huge Dallas fan, obviously, but all the other stuff I love too. And I've wanted to speak to you. Catherine, to me, is one of the best characters that ever existed on Dallas. So let me oh, just put that you. out there. So this is my <laughs> job. I'd be speaking to you anyway, but this chat was personal. So I totally appreciate you taking a trip down memory lane with me. I really appreciate your time. Oh, listen, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You, you. you just brighten my day. It's really, really nice to go back and talk about it and laugh and, and stories and, you know, just inside stuff. I love it. I love it. And we, we have talk sim- housewives too. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Normally, I sometimes I think that and I'm like, let's, I didn't even, it didn't even cross my agenda to bring that up to you. I just, <laughs> shame on me for making up my own backstory that, you know, Morgan Brittany would not be sitting at home watching Vanderpump or Housewives. I like what a led with that, you know? I mean, come on now. <laughs> Unpredictable, right? There you go. I love it. I love it. I really appreciate your time. Like, this was great. You know, say thank you to your team or whoever else made this happen. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was my agent. You would love my agent. He's great. Oh. Um, Yeah, it's great. I love it. So thank you. Keep in touch for real. And when this comes out, I'll, I'll share it with your team and let them know when it's coming out. So great. Okay, good. And just email me every once in a while. Let me know what's going on. Okay. Is your email in your, um, well, I'll, I'll get it from my team. Cause I don't think I have it, but I'll, we'll yeah. like definitely yeah. stay in touch. Cause I've been getting, I've been getting correspondence from you. So, and writing back. So somebody's oh, cool. got it. From my God, awesome. Yeah. Cause I would love to have you back on, you know, and trust me, okay. I, I, I could have dived a lot deeper into the Dallas stuff too and everything else. So there's so much more. Oh my gosh. There's so much more. Everything you would say, it would spark something else and spark. We could talk forever. No, you know what it is? You, (laughs) there's certain things you hit on that I like had down. It's like, that's when, you know, someone is great at an, a great interviewee because like you brought things out that I'm like, Oh, you just, those were 12 new questions. I was going to ask you. I was like, (laughs) thank you for that. So Night oh, of a hundred stars. I literally forgot that even existed. So now I, yeah. my my mind goes there. So, oh, I, good. I really appreciate this though. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. I, I will keep in touch. Okay. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye.